Hey there, how's it going everyone? My name is David Dustin and welcome to another episode of the Crack Palace Minecraft server. Now, you're wondering why am I standing on top of my little tower here? Well, I spy with my little eye something over here. Oh my god, that's some next level zoom that I... Oh boy. How did I... Um, oh right, there. <laughs> So apparently, if you press F1 while using the spyglass, it is like an enhanced Optifine zoom, which then you can press the Optifine zoom again to enhance it even more. Basically, you have a friggin' telescope here, but this is what we're looking at. We are looking at the finely constructed bridge between my base and Wolf's base, which actually looks really neat nowadays because I actually helped him I don't know if I mentioned this before but I helped him terraform the mountain a little bit so that the bottom part of his castle kind of fits in with the rest of the castle upstairs and the mountain itself so it it looks pretty cool from all sides I think the only thing that he has left to do is just yeah, that, it looks a lot more realistic and the castle doesn't look like it's floating anymore. I can't wait for the road to go underneath here. That's gonna look so friggin' dope. But, 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 I don't know if you've noticed, there's a massive tree standing right there and that's because Fluffy decided to, um, well, redo her base entirely. I'm just gonna try to land on her beacon over here. Pro landing, nailed it. Yeah, she's trying to redo her entire entire base. It's going to be like a half tree, half underwater base. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's all done. And also with this whole little island, also going to be one very magical fairy-like island, which is actually we call, gonna be called something now. It's not just gonna be Fluffy's base, it's gonna be called Etheria because we all have finally picked names for our bases. Well, most of us, at least. I went with, since we have the Red J Kingdom, I decided to go and call it the Cardinal Kingdom because the Red J is basically a cardinal. But the official name of this area is not Cardinal Kingdom. The official lore name of this area is the Kingdom of Ra Rogue, which is the Firebird in Old old Slavic language, I believe? I don't know, I don't know. I just I just searched up Firebird and tried to see cool names. Basically, <laughs> Burning Phoenix, that's what it means. Um, but yeah, in the common tongue, this is called the Cardinal Kingdom. Now, I haven't done much at my base, which I'm starting to realize that I should start working on my base a little bit more. I do have some quite interesting projects. Well, mainly, I finally figured out how to make this place more interesting and instead of having like this massive elevator going down there because uh, I don't know it's kind of weird there's not really a way to get up using the trapdoor basically I was trying really hard to make this somewhat interesting I think I'm gonna make a crane which will look like it's lifting some kind of ore I think that's gonna be looking pretty pretty neat that way um, you're still alive that's great. <laughs> yes, so if we travel, wow, I'm jumping from one idea to another so damn quickly I forget what I'm talking about. I was talking about kingdoms. Yes, this is the kingdom, the Cardinal Kingdom. And if we travel to what used to be Zavo's base, well, her, 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 her absolutely huge base, which she finally completed the interior of, it looks beautiful on the inside. I mean, that's still unfinished, but that's okay. I don't know how this place is going to be called. I guess the Koku Hall, because her actual village is going to be called Koku Village. This is the Koku Village, right here. And if we travel along, Robo has finally moved from this area, by the way, leaving it in ruins as everyone should whenever you leave your base and don't wanna destroy it you leave it some like in a nice little decorative way but I don't know have I showed this on video I don't even remember what my last video was about it was so damn long ago but I do want I did want to show that fluffy has finally completed her bookstore 
and it does look very nice and magical. For now, it's only fortune and mending for sale, but that's okay. More books to come soon. And we also finally have, by the way, Happy Halloween, everybody. Oh God, I almost got stuck in there. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, we also finally have the central plaza somewhat completed. I still know there's gonna be some stuff here in the middle, but what do we have over here? Road donations. If you would like to donate diamonds, please speak to Erebus. Road donations, cobble, gravel, dirt. Huh, I might actually contribute to this because I do have a lot of stuff in my storage, which might be of great use to this place. I also remember there was there was a sign here that said you can also donate iron to here. Just got blown up by a creeper from what I understand. But yeah, I'm actually gonna go and donate some things after my little, little tour here. But first of all, I did wanna check if we made, oh my God, I'm out of rockets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. Are there any requests for elytras? I believe this is still just the, the book and quill from Zio. Is it? I don't know, this is just an empty book and quill. Okay, I don't even know why it's there. I'm just gonna put it back where it's supposed to be. So no elytra, no elytra purchases for now. Guys, come on. It's hella cheap. It's only 120 diamonds, come on. Is it even, is that even the right, that a right amount? It's not even 120, it's 90 diamonds. Bruh, it's so cheap. Come on, why is nobody buying? That's so cheap. It's only 90 diamonds, guys. I mean, not like, hello there. Hello there, Mr. Pumpkinhead. Let me quickly sleep and at the same time also check if I've made any, any sales. Very nice. Very nice. I got 14 diamonds. Might as well just use one diamond to get some more rockets. Honestly, might as well. Hear ye, hear ye, rockets. Omega, I am making you rich again. Yeah. I swear I could have just went to my house. Hi, Enderman. Um, it's nice to meet you, Enderman. I guess Omega employed Ross here. Can I, can I go? Please. Bruh, thank you. Where was I? Yes, indeed. Now we also have uh, two more shops that popped up and they're finally open. So Robo moved his rock shop from over there to there. Now it's in an actual building and also his wood shop is right in here. Hello, Donkey, CEO of, of Brit Block Incorporated. So what have I been doing this whole time? Why did I not work on my base whatsoever? Well, let me show you. Okay. Well, it's, it, this is the spawn area, right? No, no, nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, if you just look, that's where the that's where the server map is, right? Like, uh, it's nice and cool. It's updated right now. It shows everything that's on the server. But, but, now once you go down here, I finally retextured this whole area here to make it look like some old ancient monument and and I, i'm sure you're asking david are you serious this is all you did um no that's not all i did i did just 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 a tiny tiny little bit more not 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 too much just a little bit just give me a second it's gonna take a little while for me to travel through this little hole here but essentially what i did I completely transformed the spawn ravine. As you can see, the whole ravine is fully textured now. Fully. Like, I mean fully. From the floor all the way to the top. I made it look like as if this is some ancient, ancient ravine, some like Indiana Jones, Lara Croft type vibes. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. Look at all of that. If you go down here, you're looking there. I even added some like ancient monuments inside to give it some kind of mystery and lore. Oh my God, there's a skeleton there. That looks pretty creepy in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I added some monuments that people might wanna explore if they can reach them because going down is not very safe. But yeah, there's there's a very interesting chamber there. Who knows? Maybe the maybe it even has some secrets. Hmm. But yeah. 
some nice nice little place here there's more more monuments there there's another one right there another one at the top there you gotta be pretty careful over here since the road is old not the road but the walkway is pretty old and it's collapsed so you might want to jump over here but yeah and then you keep going and I just keep I keep admiring this scenery because it looks so cool and if you're wondering why there's a bunch of strings around it, because I'm trying to prevent the vines from growing too much from the top. And uh, yes, I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous video, but the spawn village and the spawn region is renamed to Ivy Hills. And hence why you see all these vines and all these... I don't know if you can tell, but these are leaves and they're covered with glow lichen, which makes it look like somewhat of a an ivy type flower plant. I don't know if you, if you know how, how English ivy looks like. It's these it's green leaves with uh, white white edges and that's the kind of kind of uh, vibe I went with when I was putting the glow lichen on the oak leaves. Plus added a bunch of vines here as well. But yeah and then I don't know if you've noticed this but this is a whole cool looking spiraling stairway leading up to another ancient monument that is situated right on top of the ravine. This is getting quite confusing here. But here we go. Finally made it to the top. Nice jungle-like temple. A little bit of custom here and there. But then look at this! This is our spawn region. You can see I added all the quote-unquote ivy bushes all around this region so th now it actually follows up along together with the name of being called ivy hills and we have these very neat looking um i guess waypoints which are also lamp posts because these are these are uh daylight nightlight sensors so riverlands that way and then ivy hills world map wacked village and laputria are all over there laputria by the way is the name of erebus's kingdom and then if we go here, I made this nice bridge. I don't remember if I showed this in the last video or not. I'm sorry, I apologize. I also redid this little area. You can actually get boats dispensed to you from over there. And this whole dock was also completely redone. You can see more ivy plants all around this region. Hammering home that, that Ivy Hills name. And then we'll come up to the world map. You can see there's more ivy bushes, riverlands down there. So Wacket Village and Laputria is if you follow along that road, which thank you very much, Erebus, for completing this road. It leads all the way to the Wacket Village and the Wacket Castle, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But yeah, this leads all the way to Wacket Castle and Wacket Village and then leads to Erebus's Laputria. And then if we go that way, that is the Ivy Hills Village. You can see there's more, more vines overgrown everywhere. Um, that's our world map, nicely updated. So that's where Laputria is, this area right here. That's going to be Laputria. But I try to texture it even more on the sides here, especially on the hills. If you see this, you can see the hills. Wherever there's hills, I try to cover them with ivy plants. So whenever I'm talking about ivy plants, I mean, obviously the oak wood, I mean, not the oak wood, the oak leaves with the glow lichen on it. Any place where there is hills, you're going to see some ivy plants. Now, this, this area is quite cool, which I really wanted to show you. As you can see, I kind of, I kind of went ham here. I kind of went a bit too much, in my opinion. Um, this is a whole ivy plant waterfall going from over there into this little lake at the bottom of the Ivy Hills Village. Ah, oh, oh, that looks so much better. So much better with the ivy plants everywhere. Because before this just used to be like a wall, you know? And now it has like leaves from all angles. That looks amazing in my opinion. I think, I think this really, really brought some life to the Ivy Village. Ivy Hills Village. And you can see I put some more lampposts. I put them pretty much along the entire um, road that leads from the spawn area all the way to Ivy Hills. Basically all along Ivy Hills. It's all covered with these lanterns and these road signs. You can see over here, 
That way is Cardinal Kingdom because that road is going to lead to my area. That way, world map, Riverlands, Wacket Village, and Laputria. And then that way, which is going to be another road, that is the Storage District and the Koku Village, which is Zabo's place. That's where we've just been. Ah, oh, look how beautiful Wacket Castle looks like. Speaking of the Wacket Castle, by the way, since Wacket Mine doesn't really play on our server anymore, I didn't really want to do whatever I do with all abandoned buildings. I didn't want to make it into ruins. So instead, we decided to repurpose the Wacket Village and the Wacket Castle entirely. As you can see, there's, there's some life happening in that castle. That's because I transferred ownership of that castle to Erebus, and he is going to repurpose that castle into something very, very cool, in my opinion. He is going to make it as a Knight's Order castle. So there's going to be a Knight's Order in our server, nice quests are going to be given it's a whole thing if you guys want to know more about it i suggest having a look at Erebus's videos because he's going to be explaining much more about it and how it's working and what's what's happening but essentially it's gonna have a whole quest line oh my god i did not see him do this before i remember this used to be just like a just like an arc here Oh damn, he's going ham here. He's even putting up the Withered Rose sign there. Oh boy. Oh, he's pulling out all the stops here. Damn, I actually want to check this out. So this is the official Knights of the Withered Rose um, banner. As you can see here, this area used to be empty. He repurposed it entirely, refurnished it and everything. So the thing is, the thing what I did here, I didn't want this whole castle to be ruined and everything and in case Wacket Mine joins us back again his place I mean his items are all safe and sound some of them are over here and other ones are actually oh boy hold on a second where is it that's the greeting hall that's not here I believe it's in the armory yes in the vaults that's right it's in the vaults so yep there we go Wacket Castle items. So these are all the items from Wacket himself. Um, he, you can see here his throne bed and all the things, all the furniture <laughs> that Erebus moved from the main castle back into the storage area. Another cool thing, we've added another plugin to the server, which is um, the custom armor stands. And as you can see here, here's one very, very cool use of the armor stands. The invisible armor stands you can just put a sword up like that and it looks amazing we've got some more stuff we've got the armory here that is that is hi there chicken <laughs> this looks really cool now we go here what is oh, what is this oh oh this room wasn't here before okay so we're getting we're getting more and more stuff here oh dungeon was this area here before? I swear, Erebus is making way too much progress, way too quickly. It's hard for me to keep up with stuff at some points. Oh my god, he has a full-on prison with a zombie! A <laughs> zombie with a pumpkin head, oh my god. Hello dead, oh that's so cool. Oh wait, this, this is open? Okay, you know, I don't want to touch this. I don't want to touch this and break anything and let the hallowed dead come out that's pretty cool oh wait we can see how it works oh man that's so dope i love this hell yes this is i'm assuming the greeting hall from which you can ah uh, you can look at the greeting chamber oh also another thing that i did here which took me a whole frigging day no spider no spider no spider no spider it took me a whole freaking day i was actually helping erebus with this and this is this redstone um door if you want to see it in action now it's open you can travel through this is going to be the main entrance by the way you can travel through but mobs won't be able to travel through it because again it's a, they can't pass through they think it's a whole block but then it's closed this took me forever to figure out this whole area here is filled with redstone you just can't see it because we've done a good job at hiding it but yeah this is the castle of the knights of the withered rose it's gonna have a whole quest line 
there will be a lot of like ranks that you can go through. The more quests you do, the more involved in the order you are. Oh man, that's so dope. The more involved in the order you are, the more advanced you are, the more you know and that kind of stuff. Northwest Ramparts, what is this? Oh, oh yes, he even, he even made stuff here. Like, come on. This was just a block that I added when I was helping Wackett build this. I don't know. I don't know if Wackett ever joins back. I don't know what his reaction is going to be to all of this, but like, this is really cool. I'm pretty sure if Wackett does join at some point, he's gonna be named as one of the main knights of this order. Cause I mean, this is his castle after all. Look at that, look at the spawn area. It is all filled with vegetation and I love it. It gives it such a cool look. Let me fly over here for a second. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. All the ivy hills in their glory. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. I postpone my own builds and I focused on building other stuff. I should start really working on my base. I mean, like, but look how cool, look how cool that ancient monument looks. Oh, oh man. Just imagine nice cinematics of all of this. So dope. I can't wait. I can't wait for the 1.18 update so that I can finally make the server trailer and we can all rename the server <laughs> <laughs> from Crack Palace, which is literally literally saying that we're all a bunch of crackheads playing Minecraft. And this is not really a good image. We're gonna rename it. This is the Kingdoms of Riverlands, and we're thinking of naming our server the Kingdoms SMP. It's kind of, it pretty much fits, because everybody's building their own kingdoms in this server, and it's very neat. I think I think that name would suit this server well. We wanted to go with Union Craft, but Union Craft is a really commonly used name amongst a bunch of other servers, and I wanted something unique. By the way, if you're wondering what is all of this, these are the roads that we finally have on our server. You can actually travel by foot or by horse from one area to another. So far, so far, we only have one main road, and it's traveling along this whole path here. And it keeps going. It keeps going through two... Look how nice these bridges look. Through these two bridges. And there's a... <laughs> I actually wanted to show you this. Hello. There we go. In loving memory to those whose road ended building this road. There's even a monument for the builders of this road. Obviously this road wasn't built by somebody else. It was built by Erebus. He's the one are constructing our roads. Speaking of road construction, by the way, here's his uh, Laputria kingdom. Starts over here. That's where you're gonna go. But speaking of building roads, I did mention that I wanted to make a nice and charitable donation to help along with the creation of said roads. Oh yeah, by the way, I was able to recover all of my quote-unquote lost items. Apparently they don't despawn as quickly as I thought they were. I was able, once I stopped recording when I was looking for the diamonds, I just went there and... And uh, yeah, I found them there. They were all there, I even see my Thanox pickaxe. I did, I was able to save them, but because I had to save them, I don't know, they're, these, that gear is a little bit too overpowered, and I'm, I'm kind of liking my gear right now. I thought maybe I just put it away for now. I don't know, like save it as some kind of, some kind of a memento. <gasps> oh my god. I have a brilliant idea. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this gear. Okay, not the Thanox pickaxe, I need that. This netherite sword and this netherite gear. I know exactly where they're gonna go. There's supposed to be a window here. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Ah! I almost made it. I did make it last time. Okay, now I just gotta find. Just gotta find an empty armor stand. There should be some in the armory. I I hope. No? Well, in that case, I guess we just have to make one. Is there any armor stands? Are there any? There is an empty armor stand right there. Okay, hold on, let me grab it. Let 
There we go. No chicken, no, no chicken. Chicken, you belong. You belong in the armory. You're the protector of the armory, Mr. Chicken. No chicken! Okay, do I have a lead? I don't have, <gasps> do I have, oh, I don't have any, um. If only I had seeds, yeah, 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 yeah. Very smart chicken, very smart chicken. Just stay there. Stay. I'm just gonna stand here in the middle so the chicken can't pass through. So, let me just pop it right there. And make it the legendary armor together with the, as the wait okay hold on I think I need to do this this way this is a good time to actually understand what the hell am I supposed to do with this thing show base plate yes show arms yes there we go can I give him the sword can I there we go with the sword together. It's just missing a netherite arm, I mean, netherite chest plate. Hopefully, this uh, charitable donation is gonna help me move up the ranks in the uh, Knights of the Withered Rose Order. Hopefully that makes me the official sponsor <laughs> of the Knights of the Withered Rose, as that's like the main legendary armor. Happy Halloween, free pumpkins, Hey. That's really nice. I didn't notice that before. So let's just put all of this in here. Unfortunately, I do not have gravel, but I mean, I do have two out of three things. And here, this was supposed to be iron, which I also have. I'm just gonna pop on over to this ATM real quick. Grab my shulker box full of iron blocks and supplied your Erebus with a nice chunk. There, 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 and there. I think that would do. That's a whole lot of iron. Now, the only thing that I still didn't do, I still didn't build my shop. My, my new shop, that is. The David Dustin gives a hand shop. No, no, we're not gonna call it that. That's not a proper name for a shop. <laughs> But yeah, my shop where I provide services of a building, terraforming, and other kind of help with, yeah, creation. Oh, a little, a little pumpkin farm happening over here. I'm getting off track here. Yes, I need to build a store. I need to build a store where people can come and put requests in for me to help them for a sum of money. People have been using my services without having my story they i they just call me up they offer me diamonds i help them and we leave it at that but i think it would be nice to have another store here somewhere in the stores district to pr pretty much populate the area a little bit more um yeah i think this is what i have to do next since spawn is finally completed no no david no 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 I need to work on my base. I need to finally do something on my base. Well, I mean, I mean that's after. That's after I do my store. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode once I finally have my store built. That is hopefully